Hey friends, thank you for joining me this evening for our Sunday night reading. I appreciate you coming. I hope you've been enjoying our readings. I brought my cozy pajamas today oh, to wear to read stories. And I'm gonna be wearing these pajamas all month long. I love these pajamas too, they're so snuggly. So if you have on your pajamas, snuggle up. It's, is it the night before school or do we have an extra day off tomorrow? Some of you are having an extra day off tomorrow. I think a lot of you will have an extra day off tomorrow. So we get to snuggle up and get ready for our reading. So the first book I'm going to read today is the book with no pictures. And then after that book, I'm going to read Do Not Open This Book. Have you ever read either of these before? Okay, well, let's see. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here's how, book, how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf, wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a uh, gluck, 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 gluck? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt Boo Boo Butt. And also the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh really? And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And makes silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glurgawaka, magrumpa do, I, 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 brug, 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 oop, oop, eep. Blaggity, blaggity, glippity, globbity, globbity, glippity, beep, beep, e badoongy face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end, bonk. I didn't want to say that. 
end. And that was the book with no pictures. Did you like this silly book? It was really silly. It had a lot of silly things to say. Now we're going to read, do not open this book. Excuse me, but did you read the front cover of this book? Are you always so rude? I said, do not open this book. Excuse me, but who do you think you are opening this book when the cover clearly says, do not open this book? If a sign on a door reads, do not enter, do you enter? Of course you don't. The least you would do is knock first. The reason you weren't supposed to open this book is because it is not yet written. Look at this blank page. Look at this jumbled jumble of words. Caution, thinking in progress. You think it's easy to put words together? Ha, huh. now go away. I need time to think. Now what? Can't you see I'm busy? I am trying to decide what type of story to write. Perhaps I will write a scary story or maybe a bedtime story. After you go to sleep, I will be able to get to work. Even if you are snoring, it will be better than having you stare at me. Arr, why are you still here? Okay, I have an idea. If you sit very still and are very quiet, I will try to work while you are watching me. But please, no matter what you do, do not turn pages while I am working. Page turning during story writing can cause words to blow around and they might end up in the wrong order, okay? Here I go. I am starting the story. A ferocious storm swept through the, tiny fo the forest. A tiny mouse hid beneath a pink flower. A tiger paced and flashed its big sharp teeth trying to take a bite of the roaring wind. Remember, do not turn the page. Big ferocious mouse flashed, sharp pink teeth. Oof! Pitch black. I warned you about what might happen if you turn the pages. Now you see how careful you have to be with words. This time, I am going to make sure you do not turn the page. Do I have to tell you again? Do not turn the page. Very heavy rock. Oh, you are very strong. Do you work out at a gym? Okay, I give up. Since you won't go away, I will make this story about you. What's your name? Oh, I cannot spell that. Hmm, I'll tell you what, I will leave a blank like this. So whenever you see a blank in the story, say your name. Ready? Okay, now you can turn the page. There once was a giant pest name. Had huge eyes, humongous ears, and too many teeth. Also a big nose. It did not matter how many times was asked to go away. Would not go away. Finally, I had to call the giant pest control company. Hello, I said, I am on page 29 of an unwritten book and a giant pest name will not stop bothering me. I cannot work and I cannot stand this for another second. So please send someone right away to help me get rid of. I got, 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 got. You are still here? I thought my story would make you so mad you would slam this book shut and go away. Don't you have any be anything better to do? Maybe you could go bother someone else. Maybe you could go watch your toes and toenails grow. This way to toenails. Oh, look, I am almost out of pages. Wow, I wrote a whole book. It was pretty good too, wasn't it? The part with the big ferocious mouse was scary. So in a way it was a scary story. It was a bedtime story too, because I am certainly very tired. I'm going to sleep now, goodbye. Oh, um, thank you for helping me write this book. I couldn't have done it without you. Now go away.
good night. He's dreaming about a book award. Caution, sleep in progress. The end. Now that was a hilarious book and we did not listen. He told us, do not write, do not open this book. And then he wrote a mean story about us. But it was a good story and I hope you enjoyed Do Not Open This Book as well as The Book With No Pictures. Thank you for joining me today. I had a good time reading to you and soon I'm just going to snuggle up and get ready for bed. I hope you enjoy your day off tomorrow and I'll see you for circle time tomorrow. Miss Erica has something special to show you. So I'll see you tomorrow.